Okay. Scented? No, it's not really scented. I'm a little bit skew with here. There we go. Got my chopping board in the middle. Got all my ingredients in the side. Right. Got my knife. Got my, my chef detail. All right. Friday night. How nice have a Friday night at home. It's good. I don't know. What are you doing tonight? Friday night. You know, I'm going to gigs. You know, I'm going out in the town. G'day, Chris, Nikki, Rochelle, Kazza, Trudy. Who else we got? Mandy. Hi, Mans. Woohoo, Jennifer. <laughs> As I'm watching. As I. So, the, uh, I know it's early, early Friday night, people are probably getting ready to go out and doing whatever you're doing and all that kind of stuff, so. Uh, go Michelle, Ruth, Ned, Pauline. Um, and Friday nights, and Saturday nights, weekend nights, you used to go out, and then late night, late night dinner, late night food after you've had a few drinks. Hello, Courtney, Courtney Gardner, uh, Jasmine, Kylie. People go get kebabs, but... I was thinking about it the other day. It's something I've never made. You never make kebabs at home. Why would you? Brianna Winch, watch the stuff on your face. <laughs> that is called salt and pepper, which is some greys. Anyway, I'll shave it off tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to a big gala event for Steve Irwin Day with Terry and Robbie and Bindi Irwin. Uh, so I'll have to have a shave then. I have to frock up tomorrow. Anyway, uh, so kebabs. I mean, they're a late night dinner, really, aren't they? They're a snack thing. But I've never made them at home because it's not something you think about making. So I thought, why not try and make a homemade kebab? No, I've kind of got a rough plan in my in my head. I don't have, I haven't got a set thing that I always do. It's not like a. It's not like a, um, you know, oh yeah, this is a recipe I always do and I do this like this and like that. Uh, yeah, Carl, I know I need a shave. All right, yeah, go on. Uh, I will tomorrow. Go on this ball tomorrow. But look, there's all the, all the ingredients, all the stuff that I think would go good in kebab. So we're going to just go for it. Distinguish. Thanks, Jordos. Jordos misses. <laughs> Thanks, Jordos misses. Good on you, Jordo. Kenny you here you go. Everyone's saying I need a shave, Kenny Hooch, Uncle Ken. But it's salt and pepper because it's cooking time, right? Kate says, very handsome. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Jeff, no pineapple. Do we know pineapple on kebabs? Maybe maybe you might put it on a tropical burger or something, but not kebabs. So, we're going to try it. Kebabs. It's a late night food. It's a drunk food. But it's actually essentially pretty cool. It's wraps. Uh, so, you know, we're going to give it a go. So, I've got... Couple of couple of minces. We'll start by the, getting the mince ready. All right, I've got beef mince and pork mince. Nothing fancy or special, just, and we don't need too much. I'm just gonna make a couple of them. A couple of kebabs, so we'll get a handful, maybe a bit more. So it's probably about 200 grams of pork. And here's the beef. 200 grams of the beef mince in there, in there. So, kebab, it's kind of like Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, Turkish, all that, all that sort of region of the world, right? So I figure you want the spice, you want the spice. Now, when you, when you go to a late night kebab shop, um, they just, carve it off that big thing that's going on the rotisserie, you know. Cheap wine and three days growth. <laughs> Where's my sidekick, Maddie Cornell? Maddie Cornell's down in Sydney, uh, recording with Mickey Carr, Mike Carr. Um, so, I was thinking, we're gonna chop up some garlic, put a bit of garlic in here. Last time I chopped garlic, I cut my finger like in the first about three chops. I'm gonna put some garlic in there, because we love garlic. We've got some mince. So it's, it's 
Kebabs come from all that sort of section of the, that region of the world, really. But then you've got Suvalakis and stuff, which are basically Greek, right? But it's all that Mediterranean, Middle Eastern sort of flavours. So, we're going to have lots of garlic. Punch that up in there. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Rough. Rusty. Okay? Rough. In there. Throw it in there. Like that. It's in there like that. We're going to throw an egg because we want to want to bind it up. We want to have it like stick a little bit. So, throw an egg in there. Come on, break. There you go. Smells right. It's always my fear of breaking egg in here and it's, it's rotten. It ruins the whole dish, right? So, all right, so there we got some garlic, some two minces, a bit of egg. Now the spice. So I like a, I like a bit of spice, a little bit of, a little bit of peppery hot chili. So it's hot paprika. So we're gonna put some of that in there. All right, how much? I don't know. That's about three shakes. It's probably half a, half a teaspoon. And then I was just walking through the um, supermarket and looking at the spice section. And if I can open this stupid thing, it's well sealed. All right, All right. spice section, Moroccan spice. And you smell it, it's got all the, oh, so it's got, it, you can smell cumin, you can smell fennel seeds, probably got some mustard seeds ground up, pepper, chili, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna put a good, we're gonna put this, in there as well, because we want that meat to be really tasty. So, in with the hand, all right, scrunch it all up. This is what we're gonna make our meat with the kebabs. And it's gonna be different than when you go to the kebab shop and you shave it off, right? It's gonna be like, we're gonna make little, we're not gonna make patties or rissoles, we're gonna make long strip, long strip kebab mince. All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper in. This salt here I get, it's got a sea salt. And it's like unrefined, you know, so it's all sort of like a, a grey colour. It's really uh, quite yummy. All right. Oop. Got it going everywhere. Uh, what's going on? That's a lot of spice, yeah. But it's a lot of mince, you know. I mean, kebabs. Troy North Carolina Reaper Chili. No way. I've seen those things. Like a kofta. Yeah, like a kofta. Kofta is a... Uh, what nationality is kofta? It's a Middle Eastern, isn't it? Truffle salt from Manjima. Melinda. Never heard of that, but sounds pretty good. Uh, where we go? Go on our land. Ah, thanks. For that. that was great. Great night in Bellona. All right, here we go. All right, there's your meat. I think that's smells good, looks good. All right. Now there are things you know, when you go to the kebab shop. You know, there's the, the normal things you get. I've got a. I want to make mine a little bit different. All right. So I'm actually going to turn this um, pan, the pans on. Turn some fry pans on. And get, get those heating up. I'm going to do some. Strips, this is zucchini. I'm gonna do some nice thin strips of zucchini because I want to put that on my, I'm gonna just grill it in the pan. I'm gonna put that in my kebab. So, I'm gonna make two. So there's a couple of strips each. Get my olive oil, and the olive oil covered. Put a bit in both pans. Put it in there. All right. So I'm gonna put them in there like that. They're just gonna, just gonna soften them up. All right. All right. Jenny Hunt, you love the way you're gonna try it on the weekend. Cool. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out yet, but we're doing our own homemade kebabs. That's a good idea. So I got jalapenos. I got cheese. Got some beetroot. Got some lettuce. All right. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do um, onion, onion next. All right, throw that over there. What else we got? Uh, 
I mean, I know I miss most of these um, most of these messages because I'm too busy doing this stuff. Looking forward to seeing Murchison. Me too. Can't wait till next week. Next week, Murchison, Murchison uh, East Railway Hotel sold out. Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, it's great. But um, Churchill, Churchill's Churchill Tavern, Churchill Pub, Churchill Saloon, uh, Churchill. Sorry, I'm getting it wrong. Sold out. <laughs> so if you want to come and see us in Victoria next week, come to the Max Hotel, M-A-C-S, Max Hotel in Melton. Okay, that's the only one. Uh, yes, I better chop this onion, otherwise I am going to be crying. Okay, so cut it in half. Let's get rid of this. Uh, get rid of this skin. Now, I'm going to do a little something with this onion. Onion and... Oh! I forgot to get parsley. Where's the parsley? Where's the parsley? I've got parsley. I've got parsley. Hang on, look at me big tub. Got no parsley in here. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so first of all, the onion. Purple onion, slice it up like this. So I've got a bit of an idea what to do with this. Slice it up. Onion. Purple onion's not as strong and like real onion is like brown onion, you know? So this is always, that's why you always see purple onion in salads and things like that. Okay, that's good. Purple onion. We're gonna have some. We're gonna have some cucumber. Mm, a little bit of that, a little bit of kiki. So we've got the green, green and purple. Um, chop this fairly thin, I reckon. So we're gonna kind of make a, like a bit of a tabbouleh. Usually you can get tabbouleh at the kebab shops, but we're gonna make a bit of a different one, all right? So it's not, not the same. Uh, chop that up, nice and thin. Haven't, haven't cut my finger yet. I'm doing the old knuckle trick. So, it creates a bit of a barrier. All right, there's the, there's that. We're gonna put a little bit of, oh, now yeah, it's actually getting a bit, that onion is a bit strong in the eyes. All right, I'm just getting a bit emotional here, all right? Why wouldn't you? All right, our, uh, our zucchini is going okay. Yeah, a little plate, put some of the... As I said, I haven't pre-worked or pre-planned this out, so I'm kind of doing it on the fly. Because that's half the fun of cooking, I think, is, is, um, is discovering it as you go, you know? Discovering the process on how to do it as you go. All right, so our pan, the pan's getting hot over here. Oh, smoking hot. Alright, turn it down. I'm gonna do these. So we'll so we can do that while it's cooking. So I reckon if we how do we do this? Um make like <laughs> I need another plate. Here we go. I'll do it here so you can see. Just to prove to you I haven't pre-planned and pre uh tried it. You know, it's not like Oh, here's one I prepared earlier or anything like that, okay? You should come to Echuca one day. I went came to the Falcon Hotel not that long ago. It was awesome. Okay. All right, so it's kind of like that, all right? That is like a kofta, isn't it? All right, all right. Okay. Another one. Do two. Do one for Nui, one for me. Okay, 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 okay. Make a little square shape, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that one's a bit longer. Okay. Okay, so there you go. All right. Now, the trick is to get that in the pan, I suppose. Okay. 
Okay, how am I going to do that? Uh, egg slice. Oh, this thing. It's like a long, skinny egg slice. That'll work. I might have to put a bit of oil on it. So it slips on and off, right? Nothing like a little bit of olive oil to get it all happening. Alright. Underneath. Hopefully this works. I'm going to just pop it off the edge of the pan there. Oh yeah, nice. Straight in. You get that going. Okay, good. So, just give you a look what's going on there, okay? And your two little, two little kebab brothers doing their thing. All right, now back to our little salad tabbouleh thing. Again, I think slice this fairly thin. Because we want kind of that juice as well from the tomato. Nothing worse than dry stuff, you know? It's, gotta be, it's always gotta be juicy. Sauces and juice make food yummy. If it's dry, come on, I don't know. We've got something. We've got something against dry food. All right. Oh, look at that. Gee, yummo, yummo, good, yep, good comment so far. Okay, so there's that little tabbouleh thing. And, and here, we do have some, we do have some parsley. Had some growing in the garden. Knew he went and picked it for me. <laughs> you heard me crying about the, no parsley. All right, this is fresh parsley from the garden. Look at that. How good is that? Throw that there. We'll get rid of the big thick stalks with the parsley. But keep some stalks, you know, you don't want to, we're not, you know, not princesses. We want to, we want to have some of the roughage. Um, as you know, I was doing juices. If you saw one of the video the other week, I'm still doing juices, but I'm doing them during the day. So smoothies in the morning, juices, veggie juices, fruit juices in the day and then at night time. Have a nice big meal like this. Probably not the right thing to eat at night time, but I have an early dinner. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I lost a little of my belly. Okay. Brand wagon cookbook, that's a good idea. Might do that. Ali Trafford, hey Logan. Ah, Logan's there, is he? There you go on there, nuts nuts. All right, so look. So there we've got, look at that. How good does that look, can you see that? So our purple onion, our, our thinly sliced tomato, thinly sliced cucumber, thinly sliced um, purple onion. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up a lime. Remember with the lime, don't cut it down the middle. Cut it along the edge, leaving like a, a slither like that, these two cheeks, because then you can squeeze them easy and get all the juice out of it. Good little tip. And the salt. Oh, I had salt there, but that's a, that's the one for putting the meat. So I've got some. I've got some. Um, this is sea salt, sea crystal flakes. And put some salt here. All right, salt in there. And where's that? Where's the spice at? Here. I'm gonna put some paprika. Okay. In yeah, in the tabbouleh salad stuff. All right. So it's gonna give it a little bit of a. Well, it's gonna give it a good zing. All right, so there it goes. Now, yeah. mix that up a little bit. We've got a bit of salt in there. Look at that, how good is it looking? And then, we're gonna squeeze the lime juice, all right? Squeeze the lime juice all through that. This is gonna be yummy, really yummy. A little bit of olive oil on top. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop it in this bowl now. A little bit of lime juice, a little bit of lime. Can't have enough lime. I'm going to scoop it in this bowl now. Um, you know what? I'm just going in, hands, into the bowl. Like that. Scrape it up. All that juice, yummy stuff. I kind of just want to dip some bread in it and eat it now. Okay. So, so check that out. So that's going to be like our tabbouleh salad mix that goes on in the in the wrap kebab. Now all this, 
All this, um, see it on the on the cutting board, we've still got all bits and pieces, a bit of that juice and lime. I'm just gonna leave it there, because we're gonna wrap our, gonna put our kebabs on there, I reckon. Oh, I've got a couple of little, I've got a couple of little things up my sleeve for this kebab. Oh. Oh, jeez. No one told me that I was, oh, they're not too bad, they're good. Could have warned me that I was about to burn them. Oh, I burned that one. That's what I did. Where are you, man? He's in the bin. All right. What else we got? Okay. Have a look at our little, our little mince kebabby things. We're gonna turn them over. And then, oh, look at that. There you go, one turned over, one ready to go. Looking good, huh? Alright, keep that going. Cook it, cook it slowly, not too hard, otherwise it'll it'll get dry, you know? Alright, got some cheese. Hang on. You know what? We should get our kebabs out. Get our wraps. So I got just went to the supermarket, just found some wraps that look nice and big and look good. These are Helga's capsicum and roasted garlic. I think it looks pretty good. Looks a bit different. So we'll give it a go. Look at that. Ta da! They're not, I don't think they're as big as normal kebabs, you know, but this is good. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw this, I'm gonna give this a little heat, I'm gonna throw them in that pan, I've turned the pan off that we had the, um, the zucchini in. Just gonna throw it in there and give a little, just get a little bit of heat into it, okay? We've got the zuc, oh, that's actually really yummy. Nice and soft and got a little crisp on the, on the outside, look at that. It's brown, it's not black. It looks, looks a bit brown, but anyway. Uh, okay, all right, what are we up to? Okay, we've got that one going in there. That's going in there. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit of lettuce. We're gonna get a nice leaf of lettuce. A nice little bit of lettuce there. When we cook, the, when we assemble the kebab, we want all our bits there ready. Nice green bits. It's probably enough. Um, cheese. Okay. Uh, what's that? It looks tasty. And the menu's at ours tomorrow. You're going to try it tomorrow night, Zoe? Cool. I love it when people try the recipes and post up the photos on our on our on the Facebook page here. It's um, a lot of them look better than mine turn out. I like cooking stuff that. I mean, I like cooking stuff that I've done before, but I love cooking stuff that um, kind of discover as we go. You know, we've all had kebabs, I've never cooked them. So it's, it's fun actually discovering it and then learning what's good and what's not. Okay, I've got some cheese. This is um, just some, what is it? What's it called? Here, Colby. Colby cheese, mild and tasty. Mild and tasty, how's that work? Tasty. Um, as I said, I'm going to the gala for Steve Irwin Day tomorrow. Next Thursday, 15th, I think it's next Thursday, I'll be performing at Australia Zoo for Steve Irwin Day. It's a huge honour. Uh, Bindi, Bindi uh, messaged me and asked me to do it a little while back, and it's very honoured to be a part of it. Great family, great people, great, iconic Australian venue. So I'm going to be at um, Australia Zoo next Thursday. Right, so what I'm gonna do with this, with this cheese, I'm just gonna stick it, because that's almost getting cooked now, I'm gonna throw it on top of these little bits here, all right? Let them, let them sort of melt. Let them melt on our little meat kebab bits, all right? All right, this is nice and soft, this one. So now I'm gonna throw the other one in there. Oh, look at that, got a nice, ooh, got a nice little bit of a crisp going, yeah. Hope it's not too much. Anyway, good. Got the tomato, got the jalapenos ready. I was gonna put beetroot, but I don't think we need beetroot on it. This one, because we've got a lot of the zesty zing from, from our, our salad thing. Um, but there's there is one more thing I'm gonna put on it, which I'll do it in a minute. Oh, look at that. It's looking good. It's melting. Okay. What else? What else can I tell you? 
just while that's last, the last bit's cooking. Uh, Stacey Lee Goldsmith, how, uh, how much tickets for Max Hotel? I'm not sure. They're usually around about 35 bucks. Okay? We've kept the price right down on this tour. Um, it's going to be a challenge rolling these kebabs. That's going to be the fun bit. <laughs> um, okay, so talked about Max Hotel Melton, which is uh, Saturday week, is it? Yep, set that week. Um, then, uh, the last shows for the year are going to be in Tassie. Um, we're going to do, the Friday night's going to be in Mathena, um, which is on the other, on, when you're looking at the map, on the right-hand side of Launceston. The Saturday night is uh, at 4th, the 4th pub. Trent and uh, great crew down there. Going great, outside, big outside, rocking beer garden sesh. And then on the Sunday at a fantastic venue down near Hobart called Longley, the Longley International. Great. Uh, Wolf, Bro Wolf Brothers territory down there. So, um, how are you boys if you're watching? And um, it's gonna be a big weekend. It's gonna be a big weekend. Finish off in Tassie, it's gonna be great. Okay, we're going good, we're getting very close there. Um, I know everyone's seen this kitchen quite a bit over the, over the last year or so. And, um, what brand of fry pans are they? I don't know. Actually, I think I'm... Oh, Ikea. I got them from Ikea, the fry pans. Um, I... What was I saying? Got distracted. Oh, the kitchen. Okay, so you've all seen the kitchen a lot of times over the, you know, um, uh, over the last, you know, year, year and a half, because I've been doing a lot of these kitchen, a lot of these cooking sessions. But, uh, move out of this house, move out here of this shack um, in a couple of weeks, two and a half weeks. So I'm doing up a new place, a new little shack. So, new kitchen. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'll, I should show you. This weekend I'm gonna be there painting during the day, Saturday and Sunday, tomorrow and Sunday, I'm gonna be doing some painting, so um, I might actually do a little live there and show you what we're doing, what's going on. This looks like a construction war zone at the moment, but um, yeah. Larissa, brand of knives, aha, global. It's cool, huh? It's a big bugger. Uh, might wanna check the wrap. Oh, thank you. Although, the, I turned the heat off, so it was, um, yeah, it wasn't burning, but thank you. This one's got a little, little crisp to it. That's nice. Okay. Check it out. Thank you. All oh, got it out. But I had to turn the fire off. But, all right. Look. How good's it looking? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's cooked through the middle. Yeah, we're done. All right. Here we go. Assembly time. Wrap assembly time. I'm gonna do them right here, okay? Right on the, right on the chopping board. Have I forgotten anything? I also got some aioli, some chipotle. You see this, you see this name at like Mexican sombrero type places and Guzman and Gozman and that stuff. And you always find chipotle, or you know, but it's called chipotle. That's what they, the other girl the other day told me. It. At uh, Zambrero. Chipotle. So, it might be nice too. So, I'm going to have a little taste of this, see if we're going to put this on. Just just found this at, uh, at the supermarket. Again, very well sealed. It must be childproof because it's, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> ah, here we go. All right, let me taste. Yeah. A little bit of creaminess, a little bit of zing. Yeah, good, all right, we'll use that. All right, so here's our two wraps. On the board, where we had all our lime juice and stuff, put them there. Let's bring over our two little kebab, what do you call these? I don't know. The meat section, all right? Bring over the meat section, put it on there. Like that. Okay. Meat section done. Uh, 
Next, we're going to put the, the slab, little little slither slab, whatever you want to call it, of um, zucchini. Our, our pan-fried zucchini. Okay. All right. You can see that. You can see the building. All right, good. Okay. Okay, next, put another slab on like that. All right, great. Now, we're going to put some lettuce, or greenery on there. Uh, yeah. Lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce. Let's put a little, let's put a little line of chipotle sauce. How fast this come out? Oh right yeah, nice. All right, just for a little, a little extra thingy. Um, what do we need? Okay, a little spoon. Okay, I I need a big spoon. Burnt. Okay, mix up our little concoction. I reckon this is probably the star of the show. Alright, so let's spoon that on there. Look at that. How good does that look? Yeah, a little bit more tomato. Okay, and on this one. So remember, this has got the tomato, the cucumber, all thinly sliced. My mouth's watering. Can I, it, was just, it, was, it was dripping there while I was trying to talk. Um, the parsley, salt, the, the paprika, and lime juice, a little bit of olive oil. And last is, I love jalapenos. And they've, they've got some kick, right? So we will put, we'll put some jalapenos on here, like that. I have no idea how we're actually gonna roll this because they they might be a little bit Overloaded, overloaded with stuff. But every time we go to the kebab shop, they look so full, but they they wrestle them, you know. So I don't know how we're going to wrestle these, but we'll give it a go. Uh, now I did buy. Oh, now that I've done this, I don't know if I want to do this. But my secret idea, okay, my secret idea was to put a bit of crunch in there. So what I thought was. Put a couple bits of crunch, all right? What do you reckon? It's just texture. I like texture, you know? All right, so anyway, here we go. So, we're gonna... What do I do? I bought some baking paper. I'll put it in the baking paper and wrap it in that, maybe. The zucchini's on there. We put the slip of zucchini. Let me try this. Maybe this will work. Maybe it's because they got the paper when they wrap. Okay, got the paper on there. Okay. This works, we might even start our own kebab shop. Alright. Penny, what are you laughing at? <laughs> it's a serious business. Uh do we wrap it in do we wrap that paper with it? No, don't do that, do you? Alright, here we go. Wrapping, wrapping, and now we're wrapping in the paper. You're supposed to do the ends. Anyway, I'm going to leave the end hanging out. Don't leave your end hanging out. You get embarrassed. All right. Oh, it looks pretty. And then we're going to tuck that bit under there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Would you buy that? If I was at the markets and I was doing kebabs, would you buy one of them? I reckon. We've got to taste it. I want to eat it. No. But at the end, you know, the end's always just, just wrap, so I don't want to just eat wrap. I want to eat all the stuff. Okay, here we go. Looks professional. All right, ready. Here we go. I think you'd be pretty happy at about 2 a.m. in the morning and you went to the kebab shop and they served you up one of these. I think you'd be pretty happy. And the crunch is good. A little crunch. It doesn't taste like corn chips or anything. I really like that. 
Oh, look. Fold the bottom first, then roll. Good idea. Mmm. Can taste the lime juice, the crunch, the fresh of the lettuce. And there's crunch in the, obviously, in the, um, in the onion and the, in the, and the cucumber. It's really good. We made our own kebabs. Also made a hell of a mess. <laughs> Look at this mess. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. That's one good mess. But anyway, it's Friday night. We made our own kebabs. And uh, if you make them, post a photo up, let it see them, and uh, we'll compare kebabs. Anyway, have a great Friday night, everyone. Put this down because my thumb can't reach the finish button. Great Friday night. Uh, we'll see you soon if you're coming to any of the shows in Tassie or Victoria this, in this last month before Christmas. Have a great night. Stay safe. Have kebabs. See ya.